We are stuck up here in the greenhouse for a little while because a really big thunderstorm just came through. And we celebrated in the rain because <laughs> You do it's that. Spring. You do that. Yeah. You, and you're allowed to dance in the rain. Yeah. So we were able to get a couple of clips of what it's like to be in the greenhouse when a thunderstorm comes through because it just amplifies any extra noise from the outside in. So as a beekeeper, we are really excited about the rain. And the rain does so much for our area. It does so much for ourselves, our land, our animals and more importantly, the plants. One of the biggest reasons that we're so excited about rain is that every day that we go outside, the grass seems just to be a little bit greener. Yep, and little, the trees seem to have a little bit more flowers on them. A little bit more flowers. So what's exciting? What? Why are we excited to have flowers? Because bees need nectar and pollen to make their honey. They do, yeah, it's food for them. So for us, I'm able to take a deep breath when I know that flowers are starting to bloom because that means our bees have food. They have what they need to go out and forage. It's getting really loud in here. All right, wanna have another dance party outside? Dance party. So you guys play a huge role in a bee's life as well, whether you know it or not. Whether you're a beekeeper or you're just a gardener or just like flowers or herbs. So there are many things that you guys can do to help save the bees that don't involve being a beekeeper. And some of them include for you guys just to be cautious about what you're planting, what you're putting out in the garden any type of chemicals that you may be using to help prevent weeds or other pests to come into your garden. That's something that's really important for the bees' survival. There's a huge push for planting pollinator-friendly plants and flowers out there. And a lot of them are really easy to plant. One of the easiest plants that you can plant to help save the bees are just a variety of herbs. Not only are they good for your cooking or if you like to dry them, or even make tea, but they're also really important for the bees. Bee balm, super easy, I love it. You can do quite a bit with it. One of the other ones that I love to grow is, of course, lavender. Lavender is such a fun herb to grow. It comes back every year, it smells amazing. You can harvest it to make tea, you can harvest it to make bath bombs, add into your soap. Another really good one that I love to grow is mint. Mint, you put it in the ground, guess what? The more you clip it, the more it comes back. Mint is really a bee-friendly plant. Another herb that I really love to grow is sage. Sage is perfect for any type of roasting. It just smells amazing, and it's a really easy plant that you can grow, not only for yourself, but also the bees. 
There's a huge list of pollinator friendly plants that are all over the internet. You guys could easily come across them, put them in a pot, and surprisingly enough, they will do so much for bees in your area. Whether you like to support beekeepers from a distance or you wanna be more active, that's one of the ways that you could really help save a bee's life. Another easy tip that is probably the easiest of them all that you can actually do to help save a bee is don't cut your grass. Let the dandelions grow. Let them pop up. Right now all of the bees are out foraging and dandelions are one of the first flowers that actually blooms that the bees are just easily attracted to. They produce a huge volume of pollen and nectar and that's food. That's an easy way to help support bees and one of the first flowers that blooms for them in the early spring. So just a couple of little tips that you guys can do. I'll also add a blog that I wrote down below on a couple of other easy things that you can do to help support the bees, but not exactly be a beekeeper. And I'll make sure to put that link down below for you guys to read. I just got an alert that we're now under a tornado warning. So I think it's about time for me to wrap this up and go inside. Um, I wanted to add really quick Monday night at 9 o'clock on Two Family Homesteads YouTube channel. I'll actually be going live with them. And feel free to join in, talk to me, ask questions. I know I pop on live every once in a while, but sometimes I don't announce that. So it's hard for you guys to actually have questions that you'd like to ask me. So tomorrow night, 9 o'clock, Two Family Homestead. I will put the link down below. Make sure to join in. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Have some chances to win some prizes. If you guys have been following me for a little while, you might already know some of the answers that they'll be asking, but thank you guys again for watching. I'm gonna go dry off and hopefully I won't blow away. And again, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn something old.